Kitty, Sherry here from Not Fox Game Crew. How's it going? So I'm trying a little different setup here with the camera. So let me know what you think. Um, so this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for November the 20th until the 28th. And of course, I'm using my deck of cards. Um, and I also just wanted to thank you guys for your patience. If you're waiting for your order to be filled, um, it shouldn't be much longer uh, within the next couple of days for sure. Um, I had a major um, heavy order all at once, and I was like, whoa. So I've actually been working tirelessly day and night getting those readings out, so sometimes up to 10 readings a day. So it may feel like you guys are waiting a long time, um, and I apologize for that. You know, it's, it's still under the two weeks, so if um, you've been waiting over two weeks, uh, then shoot me an email. Um, I might have overlooked you, but if it's under two weeks, uh, please continue to have patience because I, I do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, okay, so this is going to be a crystal ball reading. Um, so it's going to be a 5x5 five five grid, um, four cornerstone cards, one center card from the universe. The cornerstone cards are the major energies in the reading. Uh, so the distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. All right, so be beginning with the first cornerstone card, the Two of Wands. So this is an expansion of the mind. It's an opening. It's seeing the possibilities. Uh, wand is also spirituality, okay? So this points to a decision that you made in the past. You walked through that door in your mind. You've opened yourself up. Uh, so... Like I said, it's an expansion. So this is the cornerstone card that we are starting with. Justice card. Okay, so uh, this is a karmic card. So cause and effect, what you put out, you get back. So this is also a card of balance. Um, so there's this vibration, positive vibration that I'm seeing here. Next is the Page of Swords. Uh, so, again, there's a sense of important communication that took place between you and the masculine in the past. So it's being repeated. Uh, so I'm talking about the Twin Flame reading that I did yesterday. So it's a repeated theme. So either some truths were spoken, you spoke your truth, or you disconnected uh, from the masculine emotionally so again repeated theme I believe you had the page of swords as well in the past um, so yeah pages are uh, the double communicators right they are messengers but also they are swords which is communication it's also ideas as well um, in the twin flame reading that the feminine's crown chakra and third eye chakra was really activated Next is the star card. So this is wish granted healing energy. So the feminine, um, you know, has been in this healing state. And that, again, was another repeated theme. And she's feeling hopeful. She's looking to the future with optimism. Next, so this is a final cornerstone card in the distant past. So this is a sacral chakra where your emotions are stored. So this is a lower vibration. It's a number two. So there's a sense of lacking in, uh, you know, in the emotional arena. So let me just pull one card here from my tiny deck. What do you mean by the sacral chakra spirit, please, as a cornerstone card? Creative block. Um... Hmm. Because, like I was saying before, this is creativity. This is mind expansion, opening up. Um, and so there's like this pause that took place. And, you know, maybe you're healing from something that was emotionally painful for you to experience, right? This is you coming out of a very difficult time and healing from it. Um, beautiful vibrations, but 
you know, there's this creative block here that has to do with your emotions. Well, let's continue on and see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, so recent past position, Eight of Wands. Wow, okay, so this was a cornerstone card for the masculine. Um, so it is a higher vibration. It is a progression here. We have the two to the eight. So um, this is reaching for those stars, reaching for your goals and, you know, having these creative ideas and then having those manifested into your reality. This is also communication, so texting, phone calls, uh, Cupid's arrows. All right, so positive vibration, mind expansion. Third eye chakra, not surprised to see this. Uh, like I said, the crown chakra, third eye chakra was activated for the feminine side, for sure. So there we have this karmic energy, positive vibration, positive vibration, and going within and using your intuition to guide you. So there's this deep inner knowing that you are on the right path, right? And that you're getting signs and synchronicities that are encouraging you to continue. The Three of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you were thinking about, whatever you were talking about becomes manifested into the 3D. So this is manifestation that this is manifestation as well. So this is a, a firm foundation, grounded energy, um, a firm start. So this is a seed of intention planted. It's not only transforming the environment, but it is solid. It, you know, it's solid like rock. You can't knock it over. So um, grounded energy here. Wow, base chakra. So this is the lowest vibration. It is feeling of safety, security. Um, now, if I recall, the base chakra was a uh, repeated theme on the masculine side. So now it's showing up in the feminine and it's coming right below that star card, right beside a firm foundation. So maybe the feminine feels like something might be taken away from her, perhaps. So let me just pull one confirmation card for that. What do you mean by the base chakra beside the three of pentacles spirit please okay so there's two cards here uh, the first one is time to rest don't chase and competition challenges or obstacles all right so there's growth right there's a sense that you've overcome challenges um, but you're being asked to to let go you know maybe you feel like you're there's you know somebody who is competing with you or standing in your way but the message is to time to rest don't chase right so um there's a sense of release here feeling of success you know successful however um there's this constant nagging in the back of your mind not to chase right to continue to turn that love to yourself. All right, next is, wow, the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning of love. Um, so this card only shows up when you've let go of the past, you've healed your heart, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. So it's very, very unusual to see it right beside the base chakra, however, and below the sacral chakra, right? So... Um, we did see in the Twin Flame reading that the feminine was feeling emotionally tugged at with the Four of Wands in the near, or sorry, the Four of Cups in the near future. Then the Five of Cups, I believe, as crowning energy. So there is an emotional um, tug of war here. The feminine is trying to de detach emotionally, heal herself, but then she she feels emotionally you know blocked right the reverse of this card is creativity inspiration so there's a, this is a block um but then it opens up okay so if you're able to release detach don't chase that love comes to you as the ace of cups or 
you know, it is in the future isk energy of the recent past. So this may be something that is coming towards you, right? You're manifesting, you're sending that vibration out with the eight of wands and here it's coming towards you. All right. So present position, nine of swords. Wow. So this was energy that was being seen on the masculine side. It's almost like the, the feminine and masculine kind of flipped vibrations and on some level here in the feminine reading. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, anxiety, fear, worry, guilt, inability to sleep, nightmares, night terrors. Okay, so con consumed by negative thoughts. Um, okay, so I'm surprised to see that card here. So, well, let's continue on. Wow, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, this is... This uh, card showed up in the exact same position for the Divine Masculine reading. So it is movement towards a goal, um, very calculated steps, and this night always arrives. So um, it's almost like you're leaving these negative thoughts behind, these fears here. And you're getting back up and continuing to move forward on your journey and this is 3d manifestation right so there's a sense that he is about to arrive and if he hasn't he will arrive or you will it doesn't have to be he okay so the next card is the main message from the universe wow seven of pentacles that's freaking hilarious um because this card showed up as a final outcome in this position so it's like the the masculine was the knight of pentacles moving towards the feminine which is the seven of pentacles waiting okay so this is all about waiting for the harvest waiting for that return you can see the masculine in the past right coming towards her and then there is the nine of pentacles that shows up right beside it and that is harvest that is arrival that is getting that reward that return so very cool that it is the center card right this is the main message from the universe zero point energy right at the center of the reading and so this movement again is moving towards the seven of pentacles it's like you are arriving at your goal you're getting there um you know but there's this worry that has consumed you and is still bothering you okay so next wow solar plexus chakra the masculine got this card as well. So your reading, you have three chakras, four chakras now, sorry, um, activated. So solar plexus is confidence, courage, willpower, determination. All right, so lower vibration over here, uh, higher vib vibration with the third eye. So you are lo lacking in confidence or you're starting to waver, you're getting you feel like you need strength to continue on. Next is, wow, the Divine Masculine. Wow. So I'm saying wow because it's right below that Ace of Cups, right? That new beginning of love, that opening, healing your heart, letting go of, right, this insecurity here. And it's like you're building confidence, but at the same time this kind of power does not match up to a divine masculine energy the divine masculine is the you know the strongest card right the emperor is all about strength and authority um, but what I'm really feeling here is this waiting for the masculine to arrive and you know there was a start in the past and um, you don't feel like you have the strength to carry on, right? And I'm getting that because of the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the near future position, wow, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm saying wow because there's that manifestation that Knight of Pentacles arrives as the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever you're worrying about is manifested full on as the Ten of Pentacles. And the masculine had the Ten of Swords as uh, a near future completion energy. So there's this mirroring that is happening. So the Ten of Pentacles is um, that 3D, 3D manifestation, long-term goal. Um, and so it was something that uh, the feminine 
has been working towards for a very long time, so it becomes manifested into the 3D. All right, so next is, wow, completion card, another one, and this is right below the uh, the Knights, so again, uh, this is the completion of a cycle from 20 years up to lifetime, so this is monumental. It's been a lo very long journey, but there's this abundance and, you know, completion on an ultimate scale or feeling that way, right? If you look within, you know, um, you know you're on the right path um, because it brings abundance into your life. But it, again, that justice card is cause and effect, right? So that beautiful vibration you sent out is coming back. Repeated theme. Keep going. So uh, this is acknowledgement from the universe that you have accomplished this major feat and reward is coming to you. Beautiful that it's right beside the the ten. You know, what you're waiting for comes to you and obviously it has to do with the masculine, right? Alright, so next is whoa, not expecting to see that. So the devil codependent relationship addiction chain something is chaining you or holding you back in a three D um, but this is the ego. Okay, so very surprised to see this. So maybe, you know, it could be something standing in your way. So let's see what that is all about. What do you mean by the devil, please, spirit? Be a student or follow. Okay, so again, there's that, remember that repeated theme that we saw up here of time to rest and don't chase, right? There's this sense of surrendering and letting go, um, you know, but there's this feeling of weight, right? But, yeah, okay, so be a student or follow with the devil card. Huh. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card. Give up. Okay, so don't give up is what I'm feeling here, right? And um, don't try to take over, take control. Don't let the ego take control is what I'm seeing with this. Be the student. Be teachable. You know, Um, and don't listen to the ego telling you to give up, is what I see, because there's this beautiful manifestation, what you've been waiting for um, is coming to you, but there's this moment of, of well, fuck it, I give up, right? The ego's whispering to you, and then um, it's almost like you want to take, it wants to take control. It wants to stop you from seeing that success in your life. Okay, next. Six of Pentacles. Uh, so this is a reciprocation energy. So it's uh, sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. It's um, a give and a take, even energy flowing. So a cohabitation card. So either you find the courage and confidence and you feel safe enough to reach out and offer something perhaps to the masculine or you you open up and, and or he opens up and share and offers something I don't know <laughs> this is a very complicated reading actually okay so next wow the high priest very very cool so the high priest is coming right below the divine masculine the ace of cups right same role as this completion energy so the high priest is someone who has their crown chakra activation um, and they are spiritual leaders right uh, so this could be the, you the feminine reaching out to someone um, in this way or seeking out someone um, or it could even be the masculine connecting with you in the 5d and the 3d um, 
but ultimately it it ends on this beautiful vibration again in the future that was a similar thing that was happening with the mask on it's like there's these things that you overcome and it's like it it brings this beautiful beginning and love and what's very cool is the um, the queen of cups was in this position um, so it felt like the feminine was on this side of the reading for the masculine and I'm feeling the masculine on this side of the reading for the feminine so again there's a mirroring uh, there's a sense of movement towards um, each other alright so the final row final outcome cornerstone card uh, so the moon so this is um, intuitive uh, an intuitive card. There's a sense that you need to use your third eye chakra in order to guide you out of a darkened state. So this is this represents fear, um, the things you don't that are left hidden beneath the surface, things you don't know, um, right? And it's right, right below the nine of swords. So the nine is nearing the completion of a cycle. Here we see that completion with uh, the ten and the universe card. Um, and what I'm feeling strongly is illumination with the moon, even though, you know, it's a veil of darkness. I feel that veil slipping away and answers are revealed. Okay, so next. Wow, there you go. Confirmation. Ace of Swords is clarity of thought. It is a decision made. It is... A truth being told, it is a, a victory card as well. It's like that moment, right? It's the idea is completely grounded into reality. And it, it comes from, tr you know, vulnerability and truth, right? She's naked. She's not hiding anything. So there's nothing to hide. It is, it is discovered or decided. Next. Or the decision is, you know, even to cut away that ego, right? Completely let go of that ego altogether. You're cutting it away with the sword. You're facing your fears with the moon. Next is the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, we have a progression here. We got the three that progresses to the seven, which progresses to the eight. So this is harvest. This is manifestation. That is that thing that you've been waiting for is manifested okay but it does also mean that there's still more work to do uh, here we have the six the ten okay so it's like you kinda it's that take two steps forward one step back so there's this major feeling completion then the freaking ego shows up right and it's like it's staring right at you right in the freaking middle of the reading and look at all this beautiful vibration that's surrounding you right and it's like god damn it you know <laughs> okay so you you're clearing that vibration away and you are um picking yourself back up this is positive movement forward okay it's a minor bump in the road is what i'm seeing here next is wow there's that crown chakra oh my god so this was in the present position for the feminine side of the twin flame reading um so from that there is illumination there is this beautiful growth here we got the base number one the two uh and then the seven which is the highest chakra so wow whatever was hidden will be illuminated okay crown chakra crown chakra um so i see this as um reaching the top of that mountain um, and realizing you've always been there <laughs> in a weird way. So elimination is what I see. Bam. Okay, so final cornerstone card, eight of cups. Okay, so very odd to see this here. Um, so this is movement away from something that is emotionally draining. This card showed up as, I think, oh, where? Uh, oh God, I can't remember. It was I think it was in the recent past for the ma masculine. Um, so this is a pilgrimage to find self. So 
here I feel I, or I felt was masculine energy um, and in his reading there was a sense of return from a hermit state uh, so this could be the feminine moving on from something that is emotionally draining to her um, or coming back or the masculine so I'm going to pull one card as a clarifier please spirit what do you mean by the eight of cups please time apart okay I'm going to pull one more yes Time apart. Huh. So I guess, you know, um, it's an answer, right? So here is a decision being made or an answer um, or an idea. So there is confusion, decision made, or clarity here. Here we have clarity, and then there's this decision to, you know, take time apart. So the feminine may be deciding to detach from the masculine and it may not be a wise decision because I think the ego is activated right every once in a while these fears keep creeping up on the feminine it's like she keeps trying to cut them out but um, I think this is a, a self-love situation here uh, a decision to take time apart from the masculine uh, because it's pulling on her emotionally right there's this tug of war like I was saying that, that I feel very strongly um, that's happening uh, between the feminine and masculine so this is a card of reciprocation it's like oh you're not reciprocating oh well fuck you and then bye bye you know so I don't know it's like is that decision made out of fear to put on your walking boots <laughs> you know what I mean or is it coming from an illuminated state I think it is uh, yeah it's hard to say so I'm gonna actually pull one card from Miss and Mermaid so this will be a final message from the universe La Serena so wow so that's that's an ending that's putting a completion to something it's not thinking about the past right and here we have that you know reflection to the past you know with the seven of pentacles you're waiting for something and then the ego shows up so i don't know okay so let's read that out i do feel that this is a repeated message from the twin flame reading I did yesterday so please feel free to watch that video if you need clarity okay so remember those who have come and passed loves that lingered but couldn't last questions raised but never asked lulls the enchanting mermaid song remember joys from long ago friends you now no longer know dreams you had no time to sow her words are tempting but ring wrong a captivating mermaid preparing for Day of the Dead is decked out by tiny skulls and flowers. She is seductive and enchanting, singing a song that is alluring but dangerous. So the message is do not get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid. Um, so remember to honor loved ones and your past, but do not get swallowed up in memories. Do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future or you will be doomed to live in a shadow of others. Bear in mind, the past shines brighter in your memories than reality ever can. Do not deci be deceived into falsely remembering what has come before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with a healthy reverence for the past and optimistic eye on the future is of the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remembrance beguile you. So there you go. Um, that mermaid of remembrance beguiling you here. You know, stay positive. Look to the future. Um, you know, there's this positive vibration that's uh, coming in the future, but I feel this test. Um, you know, just maybe even just cutting away these memories because that's what the 
the moon card is it is past lives um, you know you play out these conditioned response and it's actually you know a virus or parasite that's been passed down from generation to generation and it's like you you complete a major cycle this is the the final piece of the puzzle being placed something you complete something in the near future right and it's like um, it's been a long time coming I think and it cuts away any darkness you know you, you see this illumination here with the the crown chakra so there is uh, spiritual illumination and also this high priest could be the feminine stepping into a spiritual role as well you know not being pulled into these emotional memories or um, chains or just thoughts so it's cutting it away okay and focus on your goal so yeah let me know if this resonated at all I love your comments guys I read them all and um, please uh, click the sub button uh, and share your love all right cheers and peace